Welcome friends to the webinar on precise land reclamation as a tool of uh, precision agriculture uh, being presented under the auspices uh, of uh, European Regional uh, Working Group and, uh, and ICID. Uh, today uh, we are having uh, uh, the we are having uh, uh, President uh, Raghav Raghav uh, also with us and uh, and the webinar will be presented uh, by Dr. Irina Bondarik, our Vice President Honorate. Uh, she is a PhD in Geological Science and uh, she is the leading researcher of the Department of Ecosystem, Water Management and Economy of the All Russian Scientific Institute for Hydraulic Engineering and Land Reclamation. Uh, and she has contributed a very large 150 uh, scientific papers and articles. And uh, she has been uh, uh, confirmed various uh, awards on the agro-industrial uh, complex. And she has been very intensely involved with our activities in, in ICID and with, in various uh, working groups. Uh, we will also be having uh, the, uh, the presenter, uh, Dr. Vitali V. Shabano. Professor Doctor of Technical Sciences is a specialist and lecturer in the field of integrated land reclamation and water management. Uh, and the, he is expert in the methods of uh, system analysis, uh, mathematical modeling, and the development of new directions in land reclamation. He has published more than 200 uh, scientific and educational papers and works, and, uh, and uh, including uh, about nine textbooks and teaching manuals. Uh, And he has worked extensively all across the world. Uh, as the panelists, we are having uh, uh, Mr. Solo Shenko Alexander D. is a research assistant at the Problem Research Laboratory for Development of Theoretical Foundations for Joint Management of Water, Salt, and Thermal Regimes of Reclaimed Lands. Uh, he's a leading engineer of the Department of Orga uh, Department for Organization and Support of R&D. And he's a postgraduate uh, in the direction of amelioration, uh, reclamation, and protection of lands. Uh, and he has uh, 32 scientific papers published, including 13 IPR certificates registered. Uh, and we have another panelist, Dr. Oleg Strinikov. Uh, uh, he's a junior researcher since 2018, and he has graduated uh, with the master's degree program of. Um, Russian State Agricultural uh, Academy is a specialist in ecology and nature management. Um, and since 2020, he is, he is a postgraduate uh, student of the of the institute uh, on the bio on the, and the PhD research working on the biotechnical geological methods of cleaning drainage runoff using photosynthetic microalgae. So now uh, we will commence the webinar uh, with the opening remarks uh, by our president, Dr. Prof. Uh, Professor Raghav Raghav. Uh, after the after the presentation, we'll uh, of Dr. Raghav Raghav will start uh, with the questions and answers. Um, and uh, there we would uh, we would request you to send your uh, questions in the chat box only. Uh, from where we will be able to share it uh, with the with the presenters and, uh, and, and and provide you the answers to the extent possible. Uh, we wish you uh, the best output uh, from this webinar. And now I would request uh, Professor Dr. Raghav Raghav, President ICID, to give his opening remarks. President, you can, you can share your screen if you want. Uh, Uh, thank you, uh, Secretary General, and uh, good day, everyone. I would like really to thank uh, Irena, the Vice President Honoraire of ICID, and her colleagues for their continuous support to ICID. This is the second webinar organized by Irena. I would like really to thank her once more for really uh, her uh, contribution to ICID. Uh, precision agriculture really is a very important subject. Uh, precision agriculture. Uh, aim is to optimize resources input to agriculture, maximize the output, and minimize the input of resources such as water, energy, and fertilizers. It is supported by spatial and temporal observations obtained by sensors and devices. The GPS and GIS are used to identify the level of input required as well as the expected uh, out, uh, output. So it is really an important subject 
and uh, it is a help for us to double the production of food that we need by 2050 when our population would increase to uh, 9 billion inhabitants. So without really uh, further delay, I, uh, I thank again Irena and her colleagues uh, for offering the uh, to give that webinar and uh, I uh, invite uh, Irena to start the, um, the presentations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Screen options are active. Yes, we share your screen options. Yeah. One moment, please. Can you see your presentation, sir? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, we could start. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Why is that changing? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, my presentation is uh, named is uh, from the precision agriculture to precise reclamation. What is the precise agriculture? Uh, the precise agriculture is the farm management concept based on the observing, measuring, and responding to inter and intra field variability of crops. The goal of precision agriculture <coughs> research is to define a decision support system for whole farm management with the goal of optimizing and returns on inputs while preserving the soil. In, in expected by 2030, the global population will reach about 10 billion people and food production must effectively double from current level. The new technologies, technological advances is the precision farming allow each farmer to able to feed 265 persons in the same acreage. The first wave of precision agriculture revolution came from the forms of satellite and aerial imagery, the weather prediction and variable rate fertilizers application and crop health indicator. The second wave where aggregates the machine data for ever more precise planning, topographical mapping, and so on. The precision agriculture entered into practice by advent of the GPS and the GNSS technology. Similar data is collected by sensor mounted on the GPS equipment combined hard. The farmer's ability to locate their precise condition in the field allows the creation of map of soil variability of different characteristics. Recent technology and advances have used the real-time sensor directed in soil, which can variously transmit to PC. Yeah. You can see the special clipping for GPS control uh, that uh, mounted in the tractor canopy and the other, this is a, a drone with the R camera to for the uh, screening the fields. Uh, precision agriculture for optimal and field level management uh, in, uh, could be uh, used for for this optimizing. It could be used for crop science by uh, matching farming practice more closely for crop needs, environmental protection by reducing environmental risks for the footprint of farming, and economics by boosting comprehensive from preferences from more efficient practice to, to improve and management for fertilizer usage and other inputs. Uh, precision agriculture also provides information for farmers, build up the record for their farm, improve decision making, foster rate sensibility, enhance marketing for farm products, 
in both lease and management and the relationship with the landlord and enhance the inherent quality of farm products, the protein level in the bread, flour, wheat, and up. Uh, Residual plan is uh, is the type of the farm system that accommodates very 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 condition across the single field in order to maximize yield. It has been presented by as a big data on the farm. The Monsanto and Dupont farm and others are launching this technology in the United States. The, this slide this, uh, show the integrated precision agriculture system, which possible configuration for the uh, management by the, by the smartphone. And uh, the main principles of precision agriculture that it use many tools, but there are some basis. Tractor combines spray, sprays, which are equipment by outer guidance outer system. The small devices that use uh, GPS, geographic and geographic information system are the main tool of uh, the precision agriculture. The precision agriculture environment needs to be wire with the right technology and data system. Models include variable rate technology, global positioning system, and geographical formation system, good use for the uh, integrated uh, precision agriculture system. It, uh, as you see, the innovation technology is used for all these, the robots, drones, the Internet of Things, smartphone application, and machine learning. The main strategies of the precision uh, agriculture is using soil net farmers and choose strategies to adjust the field input. It could be two stages, predictive approach and control approach. The predictive approach based on analysis of statistical indicators and the soil resistivity, yield history, and the crop uh, vegetation type. And the other, the control approach, this information from st static indicators is regularly updated during the vegetation cycle. It uh, may be used by the sampling, remove sensing, contact detection, and uh, aerial and space survey. The variability of the different uh, uh, soils and uh, different uh, uh, agricultural agricultural plants, it's need to uh, use for the, the intra and intra field variability may result from the number of factors. This includes climatic condition, soil, soil texture, depth, and nitrogen level, and proven practice, weeds and disease, permanent indicator, and the chiefly soil indicators provide farmers with the information about the main environmental constants. Point indicator allows them to track the crop status to see if their diseases are developed. The crop is suffering from water stress, nitrogen stress, or lodging, whether it has been damaged by freezing, and so on. This information may come from weather station and uh, other sensors. Soil resistivity measurements combined with the soil analysis make it possible to measure moisture content. In this slide, you can see the different uh, uh, soil, soil in the uh, 
on slide and uh, so important to control in the second slide. So the farmer could uh, use uh, the special equipment for this uh, uh, different kind of the uh, soils or the uh, plants. Here you can see the block diagram for precision reclamation system who is considered for the agrar field to soil and plants and such system who get the information for management system and executive uh, execution device. The robotic system for precision reclamation consists of executive devices, water supply and drainage fertilizer supply with irrigation, water, fine water supply for air temperature, and artificial intelligence system, system for prediction, environmental condition, and calculating the control of the item in the current productivity for the agricultural plant and soil water, which is in cooperation with the decision maker system. Monitoring system, center, and data collection devices located on the vehicles. And the system of that implements a control signal between the control system and actuator. Uh, irrigation system installed with the provide radio control noses in the creation of precise reclamation system with a low irrigation independent on of water scarcity and optimal management of drained land in condition of fire risk with the temperature below groundwater level. The, in the red zone, the lack of uh, operational regulation of moisture content sometimes leads to the negative phenomena such as flooding, waterlogging, lodging, and fire. Therefore, the robotic reclamation system will only not only increase yield and reduce resource cost, but also significantly reduce the impact of, on the environment. Precision farming technology is difficult to implement without precision land reclamation system. It seems precise reclamation system should be the main tool of precision agriculture. Accounting for mesa and micro heterogeneous can significantly reduce the cost of water, chemical, and energy resource without significantly reducing all the yield. The environmental role of precision uh, land reclamation is uh, very high. Precision land reclamation saves water, reduce pollution of environmental and pesticide, and support the stimulate support and stimulate natural process, improving fertility. And uh, Precision agriculture means application of precise and correct amount of inputs like water, fertilizers, pesticides at the correct time to the crop for increasing the productivity and maximizing the food yield. Precision agriculture management practice can significantly reduce the amount of nitrogen and other crop inputs using while boosting yield. Farmers obtain a return of their investment by saving on water saving water, pesticide, and fertilizers cost. The economic and environmental benefits of precision agriculture have also been confirmed in China. Because the China agricultural system is characterized by small-scale family, family farms, which makes the adoption rate of precision agriculture low than in other countries. Precision agriculture reduces the pressure by the agriculture on the environment by increasing the efficiency of machinery and putting it into use. For example, the use of remote management devices such as GPS 
reduce fuel consumption for the agriculture. While variable rate application of nutrients or pesticides can potentially reduce usage of these inputs. Then it could save in cost of and reduce in pollution from drainage outflow to the water bodies. So you can see that the precision agriculture is not possible organized without precision uh, land reclamation or precise reclamation. So I get the next what for the next presentation by the professor Shabanov, who is the main person in our country who involved to the uh, question of the precise land reclamation. Thank you for attention. Before I change you, I will speak Russian. Now, how would the translation? Точно и мелиорация в эпоху Древней экономики. Precision agriculture and precision reclamation in green economy. Предпоследствии развития точной мелиорации. Precision reclamation development condition. Это мировые вызовы, которые требуют новых подходов к мелиорации. This is new world challenges, need new approaches to reclamation. These challenges are increasing in the earth population, extinction of environmental ecosystems. And main is soil erosion due to compression of soil biology. So there are the four challenges you know. Challenge is destruction of the nature of environment. Reduction of photosynthetic surface on Earth. And mass use of hydrocarbons. Buried by the biosphere. Challenge to this air pollution. Повышение концентрации угли. Increasing carbonation substances concentration. Answers for the challenges can be. Increasing the photosynthetic surface by creating optimal conditions for plants and algae. То есть восстановление природных систем, которые могут быть выполнены фито и резюмерацией. Одновременно с этим повышение биомассы сельскохозяйственных систем. Для чего можно проводить Альтализацию водоемов и почв. So for that, uh, the reservoirs and soils alkalization. Вызов третий. Challenge three. Деградация почв. 
Soil degradation. So that are caused by creation of suboptimal conditions for the growth and development of soil biofilm. And also poisoning of soil biota with pesticides. Answer for the challenge. Oh, that's introduction of an independent management doctrine. Soil biotic sensors. And the development of special reclamation, uh, reclamation management models for it. Challenge for Reservoirs, pollution, reduction of the airport sensors and protection Answer for that cannot be. Creation of a trian nature like system. Which consists from natural catchment ecosystems. Restoration of an individual catchment ecosystems. Bringing runoff purification. Alkalization of the floor is an example. And restoration of reservoirs. Also, alkalization of reservoirs. So it could be done by precision reclamation methods. So precision reclamation is a system of engineering and environmental and agroecological actions. That allows to manage conflicts of environmental factors precisely in space and time. Increasing soil fertility and minimizing the carbon footprint while attaining an economically based yield. At the same time, the facilities and services. Soil ability to create optimal conditions for the plants and soil biota. So the task is complicated and uh, it's needed to be divided on the different modules. So on this slide you can see a decision making for chart of building a decision reclamation regulation system. Block one. So the module one. This. The 
И почва не било. В зависимости от факторов неинфицированности. В общем случае для одного фактора. In the case of one factor, productivity model. Она может быть записана следующей функцией. Is the formula shown on the slide where u is actual productivity and from p1, p2, p3, etc. Relative productivity considering the influence of external conditions in the end moments of education. Если модель многофакторная, то есть участвует много в управлении, участвует много факторов. Or if the model is multi-factor productivity model, то тогда можно записать эту модель в таком виде. So it can be like a formula shown on the slide, where R is for radiation, that I is the minimum contribution to the yield, and then I know it by the minimum p-factor. Fj is optimal rate in the e moment by the minimum p factor. Используя принцип Либиха. Using the Libich barrel principle. Максимальная продуктивность зависит от фотосинтетически активной радиации. So maximum productivity is dependent on photosynthetic active radiation. И коэффициенты использования этой радиации альфа. Функцию относительной продуктивности можно записать в следующем виде. Fp is the related crop productivity ratio of the actual yield to the maximum possible one under certain conditions. W the actual soil moisture. W optimum the optimal soil moisture. Mp the coefficient of crop adaptation to the water regime in the soil characterizes the range of moisture corresponding to the optimal conditions. За отдельные периоды вегетации. For the particular vegetation. Эти функции могут складываться или умножаться в виде логических операций. Uh, that I is in fact of this moment to final yield. So, uh, not to symbols as logical operations. Graphically, эта функция представляется в виде показанного на слайде. So, the curve of this function is shown on the slide. По ординате относительной продуктивности So uh, here is uh, relative crop production. O abscissi. Uh, on this axis is moisture capacity. Здесь нанесены оптимальные значения. Also there are uh, uh, optimal <coughs> values. W1. W1. W2. Следует отметить, что относительная продуктивность может быть описана аналогичной функцией, только параметры кривой будут другие. Сравнение этих двух функций Comparing the functions, показывает, что максимальные значения не совпадают. Максимум values are So the right function is for facts. Ну в данном случае для функций. In this case for string. Левая 
function. Left function. Правая функция для пилоты. Либо для расчета. Left function for pass. Левая для биоты точка, для индикатора биоты. For soil biota indicators. Точка, который был выбран в виде дождевых червей. So the soil biota indicator was chosen as a form. Следующий блок. Это блок. Изучение и описание условий внешних людей. Условия внешней среды случайные величины. Они случайны и в пространстве во времени. Поэтому Присообразно их описывать uh, законами распределения. So На этом слайде показана uh, функция определения благозапаса почки. This slide, the distribution function of moisture reserves shown. And a normal distribution law. Если эту функцию, на эту функцию нанести диапазоны, оптимальные диапазоны для растений, W1, W2, то можно определить оптимальные вероятности оптимальных условий. Probability of uh, optimal conditions. Которые будут создаваться в данной области, в данном месте. Which will be created in the particular region. Это 39% оптимальных, значит, в 39 случаев условия будут оптимальны. So uh, that means that in 59% of cases, uh, the optimal в 47 случаях нужно уменьшение вот запаса. Что все тут имеет? В 14% случаев. Блок 3 дает нам модели обоснования необходимости эффективности и безопасности. Модель 3 дает нам обоснование необходимости эффективности и безопасности. В связи с стахастичностью условий внешней среды. Due to the stochasticity of environmental conditions. Необходимость проведения мелиорации будет выражена функцией, которая показана в мире. The need for land reclamation is defined as an integral probability of optimal conditions. The optimum function shown on the slide below. Оптимальные условия и условия понижения условно оптимальных условий, условно вероятности оптимальных условий, условий понижения и повышения благозапаса. Всегда равна единице. Вычисляя такие функции, в разных точках пространства можно составить карты оптимальных условий для культуры в данном районе и определить необходимость проведения. 
assess the necessity of uh, reclamation actions in this region. Здесь показаны карты для всей России. So here there is the maps for Russian Federation. Optimalis usloji ya adin iz jednavih. The map of optimal conditions for winter corn crops. Yeah, maybe so. The top picture. I optimalis usloji ya kakoti. And optimal conditions for sectors. Такие же более точные карты можно сделать вне замасштабной. So the same maps can be done in massive scale also. Когда используются не климатические показатели. So then we use not the climatic parameters. А изменение масштаб ландшафтных этих показателей landscape parameters микромасштабное обоснование комплексного мелиоративного регулирования для оптимизации жизнедеятельности почвы и биоты micro scale justification of the integrated reclamation regulation needs to optimize the vital activity of soil biota требуется для минимизации углеродного следа Needed to minimize the carbon footprint. Как уже говорилось, биоинфекционные для мониторинга общей деятельности почвы и биоты были выбраны для лечения. As it said below, bioindicators for monitoring the vital activity of soil biota in earthworms. И зависимость продуктивности сельскохозяйственной культуры. Вот интенсивности деятельности почвенной биоты. Dependence of agricultural crop productivity on the intensity of soil biota activity. Будут представлены следующие сообщения. Will be in the next report. А эффективность точного мелиоративного регулирования. But efficiency of precise reclamation management. Может складываться из экономической эффективности стоимость урожая и плодородия. We can consist from economic efficiency, cost of build and fertility. Социальная эффективность – это создание новых инновационных рабочих мест. Social efficiency, creation of new innovative jobs. И экологическая эффективность, минимизация плодородного сыра. And also environmental efficiency, minimization of the carbon footprint. Спасибо за внимание. Thank you for your attention. Okay, can I can I see a presentation? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, we are able to see your presentation. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the paper proposes a method for identification of the state of soil biota as an indicator of soil fertility. That was uh, taken as an indicator of biota activity. Uh, health of the soil is characterized by taking into account of number and biomass of earthworms uh, to control the activity of soil water, quantitative patterns of environments uh, of earthworms and water, thermal and basic regimes are established. Uh, the theoretical foundation 
of the present work can be back into practice by the current users from us. Uh, the attempt curves of worms environments uh, for various vehicle activity factors uh, will be very useful for optimizing the production of worms and intensifying uh, the production of available products of the vehicle activities such as biocompost, uh, biohomes, and when uh, uh, taking into account uh, also biota along the with the requirements of agricultural plants uh, make it possible to achieve the an ecological and economic compromise when carrying out land reclamation measures. Uh, within the frame Work of this work, uh, the requirements for the following environmental <coughs> factors uh, for forms uh, have been clarified soil moisture, temperature, and acidity. The requirements, in particular, of the aspect activity uh, are described by a number of factors. There is that data for compost forms. In are presented in, in this slide. Uh, based on the data obtained, the curves of requirement of forms uh, lived little activity factors uh, were determined using the method of Shabana. An example of the obtained one factor functions for water, health, and food modes uh, is shown in figure one. A method for estimating relative uh, fertility developed to achieve the goals of current reclamation regulation is proposed for discussion. The essence of the methodology is to determine the number and total weight of indicated organisms, as well as their relative yield of the <clears throat> cultivated crop according to experimental points followed by an ascent of the relationship. In the process of testing this technique in 2019, uh, an experiment was conducted to determine the depends of the relativity relative utility of white method on the total accumulated biomass of earthworms and ten and ten experimental points. Along the Designs, uh, the locations of vermi accumulators were chosen to monitor the numerical and mass dynamics of airports. Digging of pits was carried out, uh, followed by the filling with a nutrient substrate bay. Monitoring of the moisture contents uh, surrounding the experimental points of the soil was carried out layer by layer. Uh, the ones didn't return into the ring accumulators. Um, in the next measurement, uh, once appeared in the ring accumulator again, down growing from the surrounding space. This approach made it possible to observe the dynamics change in the numbers uh, of one over time. Uh, twice during the growing season of white mustard, uh, the above ground mass uh, was cut to the full flowering phase and after ripening. Uh, the attempt uh, of plant biomass was carried out by weighting the green and the dried mass. Period phases of indications uh, are shown on the slide. Uh, the data made by the timer. Cutting <laughs> by points in terms of uh, square meters, uh, as well as the data of green and dry mass of white mustard, uh, selected by experimental points and uh, recuperated at points. <laughs> Uh, the accumulated biomass of 
wounds uh, was calculated by assigning the values taken from the points and the biomass of wounds by the day of observation from the day for, of the first selection on June 17. Um, the amount of moving includes during the ground season more than one and six kilograms per square meter of worms were accumulated. Uh, when converted to one hectare, this is 16 tons of biomass and white <laughs> protein that stores carbon. And here the market value of worms per one kilogram, you can calculate the cost of biomass grown. Uh, this is uh, the approximate cost of reproduced utility, which is not taken into account now. According to the data obtained, the depends of related productivity uh, while mastered uh, on the related level of related biomass of performance was plotted for experimental points on the figure three. Uh, the depends is approximated by two functions. Uh, the quadratic function can characterize the productivity of a plant from soil with the so called residual fertility. Uh, the cells, uh, the biota works, uh, but some of its things are absent. Uh, for example, cells uh, born of house plants. In this complete development uh, of the plant and part of the biotic community still remain in the soil. However, uh, in the absence of replenishment uh, of the root water with organic matter, fertility will be decreased until it completely lost. Uh, the automated uh, model is instead in problematic research laboratory. Um, with the help of this installation, an experiment is being carried out to determine the optimal values of the limiting factors in life of earthworms. Uh, on this installation, studies were carried out uh, to determine the optimal for earthworms uh, conditions for the moisture content on substrate. Do this, age sensors are uh, connected to the control board uh, of the model, which monitor is substrate moisture in vermin boxes on the clock with the interval of one hour. In vermin boxes, constant specified humidity was uh, maintained. Uh, vermin boxes have a perforate bottom and uh, separated from each other by a solid trace. Uh, this prevents success moisture from draining into the lower containers and allows to, to collect material for for um, food. Each vermin box uh, contains the same family of uh, earthworms in terms of number, weight, age, and spicy composition. Uh, a mixture of soil rotted in force um, uh, uh, made of vegetation and the uh, mixture was used to uh, substrate. Before saving families of earthworms uh, vermin boxes, the substrate was crushed uh, to avoid the presence of large uh, inclusions of the composition and uh, evenly distributed over the area of the container. From above, the substrate is covered with a layer of straw. Uh, uh, unit manages humidity by opening normally closed noise wells to which uh, water tanks and are connected. Uh, the operation algorithm is uh, as follows. Uh, once an hour, the system inter interrogates the humidity sensors and displays their reading on the display. Uh, in the humidity of the substrate is a uh, wearing box uh, is less than the specified value a signal of transmitted from the control board to the first point in normally open relay. 
Uh, closed relay engineers switch normally closed seminoid well open. Uh, the system keeps the well open according to the set watering times for each uh, tier memory boxes. And how after the previous reading of <laughs> the sensor readings, the algorithm is repeated. Uh, the duration of the experiment is uh, 15 16 weeks. Uh, during the prior period, uh, the population of worms uh, that has adapted to new conditions give offspring, which in turn reach poverty and begins uh, to multiply. At the end of the experiment period, uh, the contents of the Wemo boxes are removed, uh, the worms are counted and weighted. Uh, the difference between the initial and final climbers for each uh, of the containers makes possible to judge the comfort of the created conditions. Climbers reduced to one will make it possible to clarify the ex exciting curve of effluents. Requirements for substrate moisture and substrate Sentinate information measures and <clears throat> at improving condition of cell growth. As a result, uh, quantitative relationship between the crop field and the integral biomass of performs at each point of the field has been obtained. Uh, the very indicated capabilities of airforms as measures of self utility are shown. Uh, continuous function, uh, functions of the requirements of airforms to humidity, temperature, and acidity of the habitat uh, have been obtained. Uh, the experiment showed that even in small areas, uh, there are a lot of heterogeneous both really and regime. Affecting the growth uh, and development of not only the <coughs> vegetation, but also the soil life community. Large variation in the data indicates the need to assign the different management for heterogeneous uh, groups of point under consideration when playing information measures. The data indicate uh, the need for precise information regulation, uh, precise regulation at each point of the field. Uh, only with uh, such a period approach is it possible to achieve a compromise between the uh, reproduction of fertility and opportunity. This uh, on the way to minimize your carbon footprint. Alex Tuzinkov will tell about duration of so Presented work is a continue of the research on the assessment of soil fertility through bio indication. These forms are proposed as an indicator of soil fertility and soil biodiversity activity. The health of the soil is characterized by recording the numbers and biomass. Preliminary data of a comparative experiment on the thermodynamic, the impact of a stringent on the macroalgae, the strength of railway values, based on the activity of the soil, by the community of presented. Uh, on the slide, this shows uh, the relation shift between crop yield and its warm abundance, which are well connected. 
but like plants, biota also deep waste of energy. Then it has gone that way is through so localization. In data we were presented on the influence of ears, ears worms on plant productivity. This paper presents an attempt to show in comparison to the effect of chlorel suspension on soil biota whose activity can be indicated by earthworms. And to suggest its possible effect on productivity and fertility. Within the framework of the study from August 9, 2020 to October 10, 2020, year, at the Luna Experimental Reclamation Station of the Department of Land Reclamation, Water Management, and Construction of the Kestikov Institute. Uh, in the Russian Agrarian University, named by uh, the experiment on determining the effect of microalgae suspension of the various buildings on the activity of the soil biotic community was carried out in the southeastern part of the core village, Sergei Posa district, Moscow region. The experiment consisted in measuring the number of indicator organisms in space and time. For this purpose, vermiculture fails size 25, 25, 25 centimeters. When laid on the experimental plot of 100 meters square, all skin shown in video one. Nutrient substrate was placed in each layer of vermi cells. The first replication, water with the water, and the second with a suspension of chlorella. Uh, this figure one schematic for the experimental plot with maps of the distribution of total accumulated heat for the environment and the experimental plot. Left, I a variant. Wetering with water. Right, uh, variant B. Wetering with water supplemented with chlorella suspension. Observations, and if necessary, watering were cared uh, out at intervals of one week. Observations were made by hand sorting the substrate removed from each vermiculture tank and searching for ear. Ear swarms in it. The selected worms were converted uh, on electronic medical accuracy 0.01 grams. Scales and the resulting abundance biomass data were recorded in the experiment notebook. The worms were not returned to the ground in order to determine the termite the rate as which the uh, composts were filled with biomass. A total of 3,300 meters square of ear swarms were updated at the water point during the observation period, while at the point where chlorella was applied, uh, 3,684 of metro square were accumulated, which is uh, uh, 22.7% more. The coefficients operation were uh, 0.51. One sums of accumulated biomass <laughs> points where chlorella was applied and 0.57. Or the biomass accumulated at the point where chlorella was not applied. The coefficients of uh, variation are quite large, significant and significant degree of dispersion in the data and heterogeneity in the resulting populations. However, it can be assumed that the application of chlorella improves the homogeneity of the biota. Mr. Ryushan in the field. In 
in this slide, we show you uh, the research has been carried by John Peer, who is the Institute for Fusion Research in Trisk City on the feasibility of X-ray image opportunity. Possibilities and some experiments on the use of X-ray microscope for evaluation of soil organic matter and considered. Method uh, uses uh, of sample preparation for research are discussed and the possibility of determining the biomass of the soil by the community. From the results of X-ray imaging of the soil sample is considered. The prospects of using this methodology uh, for reclamation studies uh, related to fertility management line of land are discussed. Of particular interest is the possibility of matching the reason sphere. It is known uh, that the main process of preparation is paper product. There is also the mass of soil biomass which determines uh, the actual fertility. Therefore, the walls of a rhizosphere can directly characterize the fertility. Thank you for attention. Uh, so I think uh, we have uh, we we have we have come to the uh, end of the webinar. Yes. Uh, yeah. So we, we don't have any All our presentations. I request uh, uh, my colleague uh, Harish Verma to uh, to say to propose a word of thanks. Uh, at the conclusion of the webinar, since we do not have any questions. Yes. Uh, so far, there are no questions on uh, this particular webinar. So we thank... Uh, uh, you are unmuted, you have to unmute yourself. Okay, I, I do have some questions. Okay. Yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah. So the, okay. My first question is that the uh, oh, thank you for the presentation. Excellent presentations about precision agriculture. Uh, we have actually in some countries promotion of zero tillage and organic agriculture. And organic agriculture and the zero tillage, uh, the the unknown here to increase. The, the soil biota and earthworms, improving soil structure and infiltration rate of the soils. The, the presentation, especially the last two presentations, focused on the earthworms biomass and also focused on the uh, plant productivity. I wonder if the study looked at the impact on soil physical properties like soil structure, the filtration rate, and the soil erosion. I hope my question is clear. They're asking about uh, 
Worms biomass, yes, about physical uh, parameters and so on, yes. Or what do you mean, sir? I can't understand you. Asked about uh, worms biomass, yes, about physical parameters of soils, yeah. Yeah, I did ask about the the, the impact on the soil physical properties, like soil structure. Impact, uh, the impact, of, impact, of, soil uh, impact of worms uh, to the soil parameters, yeah. That's your question. Yeah, the soil physical parameter. Uh, the structure of soil. The water content of soil. And then growing of yield. The next question, please. Uh, I think uh, uh, there is no other questions. There are no other questions uh, except what the uh, president asked uh, just now. So I think uh, has it been replied? Uh, I I am not very really sure because audio was not very clear over here. Excuse me, sir, could you repeat your question, please? Okay, you, you, would you like me to repeat the question? Is that, is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay, my, my question is that the, the, the impact uh, that you, you, you mentioned in the presentation was on the, the biomass of earthworms and plant productivity. Uh, I wonder what, what is the impact on the soil physical properties such as soil structure, infiltration rate, and the soil erosion. Yeah, what yeah. is the impact? Uh, Increasing of um, uh, big fraction elements. And this process uh, lands uh, about one and a half months. Mm -hmm. 
Это люди, так как гранулы водопрочные. It prevents the soil erosion because these uh, elements are waterproof. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we don't have uh, any more questions uh, from any of the attendees and audience. So we can conclude this webinar with the thanks. First of all, we thank uh, PPS Dr. Irina for uh, giving this uh, webinar on land recognition and uh, introducing the subject. Then we thank all the three panelists, uh, Dr. Wetley V. Savanov, uh, Dr. Sulasenko Alexander, and Dr. Oleg A. Istinjinuko. So we thank all the panelists. Uh, we thank uh, our president, Dr. Rava, to attend this webinar and give his opening remarks, and then also uh, showing interest in uh, getting more information on the subject. We thank all the attendees who have attended this uh, webinar, and uh, we hope that uh, they might have benefited from this presentation. The recording of the presentation, this webinar will be available on our website after, let's say, in a day or two. So those who are, who are not able to attend, they can go through this uh, recording. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, one and all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we can close the if there are any questions you can contact by mail i think it will be easier to ask. No, we, don't, we don't have any question thank we you can, we, we, we don't have any question you can ask them by mail if you have any questions it'll be easier to answer uh, on email i suppose yeah no actually if we get any question then we'll share otherwise as of now we don't have any question uh, in the uh, question box or chat box, it was only one question which was asked by Dr. Raghav. Okay, okay.